Chelsea and Kendra and today we're doing something a little different here on the main channel we usually do something like this on the vlog channel but we decided to do it on our main channel because we get a lot of questions about what we like to get when we go grocery shopping especially at Trader Joe's because a lot of people don't know what to get when they go in there because I know with healthy foods or more organic foods people don't know what to get and what is good and food you can't return it it's not like you know mm -hmm. makeup product or something or a piece of clothing you have to throw it away if you don't like it yeah. so we're going to share with you what we like when we go to trader joe's and these are things that we've been getting from there for years and i think trader joe's is like the first grocery store we started going to that's more organic it's the first place we started shopping at when we started having a healthier lifestyle that's true yeah so mm -hmm. before that we used to get like all of our stuff from target like when we first moved out on our own by ourselves but as the years went on like we've been shopping at trader joe's basically for like four years now i think yeah mm -hmm. so these are all of our faves from trader joe's everything is basically like a sure thing we mm -hmm. also love their produce they have like the most affordable produce that's actually good because yes. we don't trust everybody produce no and we wanted to start off doing this kind of like series with trader joe's because we do go to whole foods a lot but whole foods can get very expensive right. and trader joe's is like a more affordable, affordable. price like yes. way cheaper like every time they say our total at trader joe's and we look at each other and compare it to whole foods We'll be like, we should start wow. coming here way more. And we sometimes wow. we even get more stuff. Like you get more stuff at Trader's yes. for less. Mm -hmm. And you can have like five things at Whole Foods and spend the same amount. It's so true. So yeah. it's kind of ridiculous. If you're wanting to eat healthier, but it's kind of burning a hole in your pocket or you feel like it's too expensive for your budget, try Trader Joe's. I really feel bad for those of you who do not have a Trader Joe's in your area. But if you do have a Trader Joe's and you've never been inside, then we suggest all of these things. So we should probably get right into it before this video is like 35 minutes long. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna go in the order of which we shop when we first go into the store. So we shop the outside first and then work our way in the middle. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So of course, first we always start in the produce. Um, we really like getting their produce. Of course, one of our faves is grapes, but we prefer red grapes, red mm -hmm. seedless, seedless grapes. Um, just because they're better for you, they're good for your skin, you know, so. You and know. they're sweeter. I really don't like the green ones because they're sour. I don't like green grapes either. So, I'm not into them. Mm -mm. No. No. So we always have to get red grapes. Brussels sprouts is another favorite of ours. I love Brussels sprouts. We recently mm -hmm. just got into eating them a lot more. I think I ordered them when we were out to eat once in Long Beach. And that's when I became obsessed with eating them. And when I started buying them myself, I just started creating my own recipes for them. So you can just add whatever kind of seasonings you want to them. Because I know Brussels sprouts are all like, ugh, that sound nasty. But they're really good. You just they're have to know how to. They you have to know like how to season them. Cabbages. Yes, it's like cabbage to me. If yeah. you like cabbage, then you'll like Brussels sprouts. Yeah. it's all about what you put on it. Like seasoning. Yeah, because my teriyaki Brussels sprouts are bang. Those are the best ones. I love those. Kendra doesn't like these, but I like getting these. This is the Trader Joe's broccoli and kale slaw. So it just basically has like like cut up pieces of broccoli in it and kale and it's just really good it has dried blueberries in here almonds sunflower seeds and it also comes with the dressing it's very convenient when you don't have a lot of time you just want to make a nice salad so i love this and of course baby spinach we like to eat this in a salad and we also like to put it in smoothies uh egg whites they're just something that we use all the time in more than one way mm -hmm. so gotta have the baby spinach and then kendra likes to get pomegranates this is like her fave I don't really like I them. only like, I realized I only like the Trader Joe's pomegranates because you can for tell the some difference. Reason, I can tell the difference for me personally because sometimes I would get the, uh, what you call those, palms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the palms. The palms brands from Target that I get sometimes and then I would just get these sometimes but the more I got both I realized that I prefer these. So these are just the Trader Joe's organic pomegranate seeds. I love these. I will just eat this whole thing like in one sitting. Like I don't put like the other half in the fridge. I will eat both sides. So hmm. I'm obsessed with pomegranates. They're very good for you. Um, full of antioxidants. PSA, we are not nutritionists. These are just the things we like, but we do <laughs> recommend them because they are good for you. Yes, so just suggestion. We're not doctors over here, you know, no. And the last thing that we like to get from the produce section that are like one of my favorite snacks to have are the Trader Joe's cut and peeled carrots. And these are an excellent source of vitamin A, which I did not realize that they had vitamin A in them. Did you know carrots had vitamin A in them? Oh uh, yeah, I learned that recently. Oh, but 
I love these as a snack. Don't dip them in ranch because they kind of defeats the purpose of the healthy part. Uh, uh, ranch got too much dairy in it, so yeah. I'm not recommending that. But I like to eat them by like by themselves with like a plate of like other things on it. I'll do like grape tomatoes, some Ritz crackers. Uh, you can do like some sliced turkey, kind of like create your own like yeah snack plate. It'll be good with like hummus dip too. Hummus. We recently started eating um, hummus, but that'll be a, for another video. That's from Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. um, but these are just a really good healthy snack, and I like to eat these during the week. So this is the Trader Joe's grilled balsamic vinegar and rosemary chicken breast. So obviously, if you eat meat, because we know it's a lot of vegans these days out there don't meet shame people it's not okay okay <laughs> i know um but this chicken is so good it's already fully cooked you just heat it and serve um that's the really convenient thing about trader joe's if you're someone yes. who's living on your own and you're mm -hmm. not like the best cook you're not a chef in the kitchen they have a ton of already made they stuff. have so many options mm -hmm. like you will not go hungry shopping at trader joe's trust <laughs> me yeah like so many different options um this i actually picked up because a lady recommended it to me when i was just browsing the um chicken area at trader joe's and a lady said that is so good i get this every single week it's super easy <laughs> and like just, she sold it to me not she didn't even work there she was a shopper hmm. at trader so i just picked it up and i was like okay fine i'll try it it's bomb and then i brought it home and made it for me and kelsa you can add your own size to it you can do mashed potatoes and like a veggie mm -hmm. or you can do rice with it yeah um it's just really really good and i love the uh rosemary in it like you literally feel like you like slaved over a hot stove but you really didn't you know <laughs> and kelsey loves these um even though i do eat meat obviously still i still don't eat it as much throughout the week so i'll have chicken like once a week preferably i prefer fish like four or five days out of the week honestly yeah that's true um but kelsey loves these and this is really convenient for salads mm -hmm. and if you just want to eat it on the side with like peppers this is really good with like uh some bell peppers on the side mm -hmm. these are the trader joe's grilled strips chicken and they're just grilled and they're like sliced it's like yeah. cut up chicken that's just pre-made and if you're someone who don't like touching raw meat I really don't. I this is it. great for you too because you don't have to like do it yourself. Even mm -hmm. though I don't mind, like yeah. I don't mind cutting up chicken and cooking it. Y'all seen me do it on the vlog channel before. Mm -hmm. But this is just when I ain't got time to be doing all that. So right. I already made grilled chicken. And like Kendra said, I just put it on the salad. I eat yeah. it as, you know, with sides. I love that these, they also recommend what you can eat with them on here. Like this says skinless, boneless breast of chicken grilled, then sliced into strips. They just explain how they made it. And it says try it on salads or in pasta dishes. Mm, so it recommends really like what you can't eat with it. Like if you don't know what to do with it. Like if you don't want to have it plain. Yeah. So if you're trying to be more creative, they'll have like what you can eat with it. And then next we always like to get some kind of almond milk. They have really good non-dairy, of course. That's what almond milk is. They have really good vanilla almond milk. And this is our favorite to get. Um, we get it's unsweetened. Yeah, and it's unsweetened. We I prefer, well, we both prefer unsweetened just because the fruit is already Most sweet fruit has like natural sugars in it already so you don't need like sugar on top of sugar if you're wondering we use this only for smoothies smoothies i do not put this in my cereal just because too thick. it's a little too thick for me we prefer rice milk in our cereal but trader joe's but trader joe's does not sell rice milk so yeah um but yeah this is the only one that we usually pick up in there and then we do like to get green juices sometimes if we're in the mood for one and this one is really really good kelsey loves this one the most My this is the trader joe's very green 100 percent juice smoothie and it has banana mango kiwi apple pineapple it says a good source of antioxidants vitamin c and vitamin a mm -hmm. so this is really good and it's not one of those green juices that tastes really tart and like gross like most of them do yeah this one is like sweeter so if you have like a sweet juice craving this will help fulfill that and it has you know better things in it for you so this is a better option than juicy juice <laughs> so these i love these are the trader joe's cold fresh juice and it says green they have a red one as well that I, i'm excited to try but these i've gotten before and i love the taste of them because these aren't super sweet but they're like a tolerable taste you know some green juices like you just have like that sour lemon look on your face and it's just like unbearable to like drink it yeah i just don't like the ones with too much celery these aren't like that kelsey has a weird thing about celery i don't really it's mind it mm -hmm. um i hate it but these have uh 17 kale leaves one pound of spinach one large apple 
one fourth English cucumber, one celery stalk, one lemon, and two inches of ginger. So it has like a lot of really good benefits. These are probably really good for the morning for energy because a lot of these yeah. ingredients are good energy boosters. Mm -hmm. Definitely and ginger. Ginger is like so, so good. A lot of good benefits to ginger. If you guys don't know, type it in on Pinterest. A lot of good benefits. Um, but I love how these taste. And we don't get too much cereal at Traders, but usually this is the only one I typically pick up. This is the Vanilla Almond Clusters cereal. It's so bomb. It has almonds in it. It has a vanilla flavor. It's just so good. It has multi-grain flakes in it. It's just delicious. So if you so like- it's like their version of the Honey Bunches of Oats? No, not really. No? It's, this is a little sweeter. This is more like a vanilla. Oh. This is like more vanilla flavor mm -hmm. than that. So I feel like yeah. this is very original. I don't, I don't feel like anything tastes like this. That's mm -hmm. why I like to get it because it's so original. Mm -hmm. So this is my favorite cereal at Traders. It's amazing. And then we also like to get turkey breast. This is our favorite from the Columbus brand. This is the maple turkey breast. They have a ton of different options, but this is our favorite one to get. Um, the maple, like I said, is our favorite. They also have a pepper one, a couple of other different ones, but the maple is the like our favorite. So this is good for like a snack. If you wanna have like a boiled egg on the side with some carrot sticks, and if you like celery, I guess. Kendra likes to have uh, cherry tomatoes sometimes. I love plain cherry tomatoes. On the side. So I just love turkey. Like if I just need a quick like snack pick me up, I just like roll up a few pieces and, and good, eat it. And it's good like before you go work out too. Yeah, like a good pre-workout snack or something. So we love to get their sliced turkey. It's really good. Okay, so another good snack option that we've been obsessed with when we, since we started shopping at Trader Joe's. I feel like a kid when I have these because I feel yeah, like I kids will really love these. Mm -hmm. But they are these little applesauce packets. So these are gluten free and they're also vegan. These are the Trader Joe's organic fruit sauce crushers. That's what they're called. So it's basically <laughs> applesauce that's flavored with other fruit or vegetables. So this is the apple carrot one. And then this is the apple strawberry one. The other one that we're obsessed with is the mango one. Mm -hmm. that they did not have they ran out it was that part of the shelf was completely empty so other people love it yeah the well. mango one is pretty bomb so if you are a fan of like applesauce you need to try these these are so so good and they're the perfect like snack to like get before you leave the house and you don't have go. time on the go yeah because they're like little packets so, so you just squeeze them so like you squeeze them yeah, you don't need like a spoon y'all know what like the applesauce packets look like most <laughs> applesauce packets have like the same same vibe, you know, same concept. But so these taste the best that I've tried. This is what they look like. Yeah. And you just squeeze them, keep them in the fridge. So, so good. Great right, if you have kids, they will love these. So another really good snack that I love are cashews. I love them plain, but these just bring the cashews to another level. Yeah. These are the Trader Joe's Sesame Honey Cashews. Y'all. <laughs> these are basically dessert. Like, yeah. if you need something sweet, like after dinner, but you also want chips these are like the sweet and savory kind of vibe like if yeah. you're someone who likes the sweet and salty mixed together mixed together you would love this this is so so good and i know what you're thinking like sesame seeds that sounds weird like even if you don't like sesame seeds like that you would love this mm -hmm. because of the honey in it it's just so so good so i highly recommend this cashews are also a really good uh form of a nut for you aside from almonds but these but almonds are, are better almonds are better they're like the best nut you can eat but uh cashews are still pretty good as well okay so now we're going to move on to the frozen section which is not the healthiest some of this stuff yes most of this frozen stuff we eat on the weekend this is our weekend stash yeah we try not to eat frozen stuff throughout the week no. because we try to keep it fresh homemade throughout the week because it's just better for you mm -hmm. so but this stuff is bomb for the weekend uh frozen fruit of course not that this is unhealthy, but we'd like Aside to Aside from the other frozen stuff, this is yeah. the healthy part of the video. Yeah. So we like to get frozen mangoes for our smoothies. Frozen pineapples. Like, we've been getting these for years. Like, these are like my favorite pineapples to get. These are like the best yes, for smoothies. they are. And I also like to get frozen strawberries for my um, strawberry banana smoothies because sometimes I want to be basic. Um, but I prefer the frozen one rather than getting like actual strawberries because they're frozen and they are already, it's already cold. cold. Yeah, you don't have to add ice. ice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, we usually get uh, blueberries as well sometimes from Trader Joe's, but we have like a big bag in the freezer right now. 
So didn't need to get that. Now on to the unhealthy stuff. It's not super unhealthy, but it's not like the best either. Mm -hmm. But it's still things that we can share with you guys that are actually good if you're curious and you're walking through this section in Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. This stuff is good. Yeah, it's a stamp of approval for us. Yeah. So if you're unsure, yeah. if Kelsey and Kendra recommended it, it's not nasty. <laughs> okay, so this is the Trader Joe's vegetable rice, fried rice. We like to get this. Sometimes we eat it by ourselves. Sometimes we like add something to it. But they also have a chicken fried rice as well, but we just prefer to get the vegetable fried rice. So, so good. If you've been following us for a while, you know we love this. And it's so quick on the back. It basically says you put it on a skillet and heat, heat it for five minutes. So quick. Stir, super there you quick. Go. Super Stir. quick. Don't leave it too long because you will burn, burn it. Burn it, yeah. Yeah. And with that, sometimes we like to have this mandarin orange chicken. Y'all, this is so good. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of sugar in it, but y'all, yeah. it's so good. It's really good. If you're into Chinese food or like if you yeah. have that Chinese food craving, craving, this is it at home. And we get the vegetable fried rice. Um, we, This is why we don't get the chicken fried rice that Kelsey said the other option they have is because we buy this to eat with it. Yeah. So there's no need to buy the rice with chicken in it and have that. It's yeah. It's too much. Too much. Um, but that meal is so filling. When I tell you we have Very. leftovers every time we make this on yeah. the weekends. Because mm -hmm. it's a lot of chicken in it. I get full every time. Yeah, I do too. So this next weekend meal option is really good if you're into pesto and if you're a pasta person. So this is the linguine with pesto and tomatoes. Super simple, but it's still a really nice flavor. If you love like a good pesto meal if you're not into like the heavy sauces for pasta you would love this because it's a lighter kind of flavor yeah mm -hmm. um i love this it's not like um a super super flavorful but it's like it, it gets the job done for me when i'm in like a pasta mood and i don't mm -hmm. want to be feel like too too like fatty you know it's not heavy it's not heavy so i love this mm -hmm. and you can just add like a little garlic salt if you need a little more flavor but i like it a lot and it's super quick doesn't take much Three, four minutes on high on the stove, so, so easy. But don't make it a habit during the week because it's easy to like eat this kind of stuff during the week when you get lazy. Okay, so another frozen section favorite at Trader's is their shrimp stir fry. It's so, so, so good. good. Um, it's basically just vegetables and shrimp. And you just grill it on the skillet, super quick, super easy. Comes with a seasoning packet in here. Mm -hmm. So, so good. So it just has broccoli, green beans, um peppers it's just so good with shrimp it's just super good and you, you don't feel rice on the side and you can do rice on the side brown rice white rice whatever kind of rice you like and it's really filling and you don't feel guilty for eating it either mm -hmm. so yeah. this is one that you could eat throughout the week yeah because it's just vegetables and shrimp yeah and of course we like to get french fries from the frozen section i'm sure most people do at the grocery store but we like to get their regular fries which are really good i like the skinnier ones because it's just Reminds me of McDonald's fries because I don't eat them anymore. We haven't had McDonald's fries in like years. It's been a minute. So, like to get those. I like the skinny ones. And we love these sweet potato fries. These are my favorite. To me, these Trader Joe's ones are the best that I've had because they like melt in your mouth. They're so good. But if you cook them a little longer, you can have the option to have them like a little crunchy. A little crunchy. Because I like mine a little more crunchy. But in the inside, the outside is crunchy, but the inside when you it's bite like into it, it melts in your mouth. That's very true. They're so good. So they have bomb sweet potato fries. So, so good. Yeah, those are like my favorite. I eat those very often. And I also like to have them for lunch sometimes. I'm not going to lie. D during the week, if, if it's like a filming day or like an editing day, if I'm editing, I'll put those like on a, a sheet rack. What do you call it? A cookie sheet in the oven <laughs> and eat a bunch just for lunch with nothing else. And then our favorite ketchup. This is the Trader Joe's organic ketchup. This is the only ketchup that we buy because I feel like the other ones are nasty. I'm After I started eating this one, I started to taste the difference in other, other ketchups. ketchups. I won't even have ketchup when I'm like out to eat if I'm having like mm -hmm. something that requires ketchup to be eaten with it. I, want it. I just have it dry because <laughs> it's just not this. This yeah. has onion powder in it and that adds so much flavor to this ketchup. I feel like other ketchups taste very bland, kind of fake, sour, sour. It's just something weird tasting about other ketchups to me now. Like, I don't like them. This yeah. is the only one that we will buy. So this bomb, I will forever buy this ketchup. And we also like getting these, which are not very healthy at all, but these are their Trader Joe's Addicted. breaded mozzarella sticks. So good. They're so good. We try to only eat these on the weekend so because good. I try not to eat too much cheese because it breaks me out, but these, are worth a pimple. 
not two, but one. It's worth so, it. So, so good. And they already have like seasoning on them so you don't have to add nothing. I in the oven, the bag. you can yeah. smell the garlic. You can smell it not through the bag. Oh my gosh. You can smell so it. it. They're so buttery. The, you, they already have the butter, the garlic. Everything that makes the mozzarella stick even better is already on it. <laughs> it's so good. And of course, you can add like your own like marinara sauce to it on the side. Mm -hmm. So with, whichever brand you like, just buy that and just dip it. Mm. Yeah, everything. And then, of course, we like to do, you know, a good frozen pizza every now and then. Um, this one is one of our favorites. This is the organic roasted vegetable pizza. It's so, so good, y'all. Really good. Even if you don't like supreme pizza, meaning like with like all the vegetables on it, you would still like this because it's just so It's so good. good. It's I like a supreme it. pizza to me without the meat. Yeah, it just doesn't have meat on it because it's a vegetable it's pizza. It's so good. So bomb. Okay, and the last thing we like to get from the frozen section are some desserts of course and this one is our most picked up this is the trader joe's apple blossoms fully baked they're so so good you pop them in the oven for about 20 to 22 minutes y'all these are so so good it tastes like homemade apple pie yes they're like little like mini pies mm -hmm. and we they come with two so it's perfect because we always yeah. you know put you know each in the oven for it's like the each best of dessert because it's not too sweet because mm -hmm. i find myself like if i have something like that i used to eat before i was eating health that's sweet i'm like this is just sugar sugar yeah you can't really taste, taste the flavor of everything in it yeah but that you can taste the apples you can taste the cinnamon it's mm -hmm. like really good mm -hmm. that's the thing i love about trader joe's frozen section even though it's frozen you can still taste the flavor in the foods it yeah. just don't taste like fake to me yeah it doesn't true. taste artificial yeah mm -hmm. so that's what i love about the frozen section at traders because we technically now that i think about it we don't really buy frozen food unless it's from here or whole foods yeah that's true like we don't buy like mm -mm. frozen foods that like we don't buy DiGiorno pizzas or nothing like that well after tasting their frozen pizza i can't go back to DiGiorno. okay along with the apple blossoms we've been loving this trader joe's soy creamy non-dairy frozen dessert vanilla so it's basically like organic non-dairy gelato yogurt. yeah gelato like frozen yogurt so if you want like a vanilla ice cream type but you don't want to do the dairy this is perfect because it's super creamy very rich not too sweet and it goes perfect with this like yes. when Kendra found this I was like it goes perfect with yeah. these like a little scoop on the side mm -hmm. Go. so you got you like a nice healthier version of like apple pie limote I'm obsessed with that dessert. <laughs> like the uh, the kind that they have at Houston's. Like I love that dessert at Houston's. So but good. this is like the healthier version of that at home. Mm -hmm. So good. And, and I actually like this by itself with, uh, I will add fruit on it. So like yeah. some kind of uh, berries. blueberries or blackberries mm -hmm. on the side. Yeah. That's like a good dessert for during the week. Mm -hmm. um, we only have these on the weekends. I won't eat these during the week. Um, but this with fruit is really good. So it's like mm -hmm. a nice treat after your dinner. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't know if any of your Trader Joe's stopped selling them. We also used to get frozen churros. But the oh one that gosh. we've been going to, they have not they been having have them. them. And I don't know why. So I don't know if they completely took them away from all Trader not. Joe's. Or it's just ours. But it's really making me mad because that was like one of my favorite desserts. Churros are actually my favorite dessert personally yeah, she loves churros. ever. And when I found those, it was like I found gold. And then they just stopped selling them. They, they were so like good. little mini They're churros. The mini ones. And you just yeah. pop them in the oven. Just put your little brown sugar and sugar that it comes with over. Oh, so good. Just thinking about it making me sad. I know. Those are so good. Those were like our top, one of our top things to get from the frozen section at Traders. Not the healthiest, so, but the best. So good. So good. So if you see them at your Trader Joe's, you better rack up and, you know, yeah, pour them in your freezer. Okay, so last but definitely not least, chips. Uh, this is a chip house. I love chips. When our family <laughs> comes over, they love chips. It just is what it is. So these we have been getting in particular the longest from traders these are their hawaiian style they have different ones but we love the hickory barbecue flavor and also the original which comes in a blue bag which is their plain um, mm -hmm. potato chips with just uh sea salt on them those two we were getting like for years and yeah. years and mm -hmm. then kelsey eventually started to get the salt and vinegar salt and vinegar which comes in the yellow bag but it's so the good. same packaging mm -hmm. but these are like the best like snack when you're craving chips, mm -hmm. but you don't want to pick up the Doritos. They're kettle cooked slowly in small batches. Um, it says 
using only fresh unpeeled potatoes. Yeah. So these mm -hmm. are really good. Highly recommend them if you're a chip person. They're just so good. I just love the Hawaiian style. They just have a really good flavor. Yes. But two other favorites that we discovered after we were getting the Hawaiian ones are mm -hmm. these two. This one is the ghost pepper potato chips. And they're kind of spicy. They just have pepper all over them. They're really, really good. If you don't like spicy chips, you won't like these. But if you like a spicy potato oh, chip, yeah. then you would love these. They're so, so good. So these are bomb. They actually have vitamin C in them. 10% because of the peppers. It's in them. And they have vitamin A. Okay, and the very last uh, chip option that we love are the Trader Joe's Organic White Truffle Potato Chips. I found these oh. like at the very last minute on one of our random trips and I we ate these in the car because usually when we leave Trader Joe's there's always traffic wherever we are and we always like to pull out a snack from the haul that we got during that time like we'll get something out the bag as we're putting the groceries in the trunk it's just a tradition it's just a thing we do like I'm sure, I'm sure y'all be doing that too like give me them chips yes Cause you're gonna be home around not for when you get home for in the car right now these are the <laughs> white Italian truffle and fleur de some fancy sea salt it's sea salt <laughs> on it white truffle and sea salt if you're a fan like of truffle fries these are the chip version so so good, so good. yeah probably not the healthiest uh these are 150 calories um so if you count calories then probably don't eat these i don't count calories but these are gluten free so if that helps you decide whether or not you would like to buy them <laughs> then at your own risk Okay, so that completes our Trader Joe's faves video. Let us know if you would like to see a Whole Foods version of this because Whole Foods can get pretty pricey. So let us know what you want to see as far as another version of this kind of video goes. We're thinking about doing the Whole Foods one just because we do have some favorites there. We have some favorites there and you definitely don't want to get too many groceries there. You want to get like the best of the best stuff there so you can get your money's worth at yeah. Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. Particular um, stuff because there's certain stuff at Whole Foods that's just unnecessary to yeah, buy. Yeah, just go. To, you can buy at other yeah, grocery stores. Just go to Publix, wherever Walmart, you like to go. You know, it's just yeah. certain things that you don't need to get from Whole Foods. Yeah, but it's certain things that we have to get from there that I just don't really like the other options at other grocery that's stores. That's true. So we will share those with you guys. So yeah, I think we're gonna do a Whole Foods version of this. So mm -hmm. let us know if you enjoyed this kind of video. We thought it would be very helpful since it is the beginning of the year and people are trying to do better and eat better you know and have better alternatives to the bad things that they're they're eating but still so, live your life on the weekend yeah, still live your life you don't want to deprive yourself yeah so we're all about balance in our lives um, yes. because it's super important it's so like unrealistic to only eat like you know a green salad every single day yeah so we wanted to show you guys some of the best things to get from traders that are actually good and if you're unfamiliar with the store when you go in there kelsey and kendra suggested some good stuff Yes. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to go ahead and put up our groceries for their meal on this counter. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. Okay.